guys welcome to my channel so today's gonna be a bit different it's not gonna be a makeup tutorial or anything of that sort it's gonna be a Q&A just so you can get to know me a bit better so we're just gonna go right into it so my first question is what's your recommended brush collection well, I love the morphe brushes so this is just like one of them and I have the Laura Lee collection which comes in this pink pouch I'll insert a picture of it like here or something that brush collection is really really nice it brings like everything you need to do like full face brings eye brushes face brushes all that stuff so next question is how often are you posting videos so i'm posting every saturday and wednesday so twice a week it's kind of like tricky to be uploading so often especially like just starting out but i'm finally like getting into the rhythm of like filming editing posting filming editing posting which is all i do <laughs> Someone asked, what's your go-to brand? And I find this so hard because I use makeup from all sorts of brands, drugstore, high-end, like anything. But if I would have to say, maybe Makeup Revolution, just because I love like their foundations, their concealers, their blushes, their bronzers. I think Makeup Revolution is like really slept on. And I think it's really, really good. And it's super affordable. Like. Then I got a question from a skincare company that says healthy skin is blank on my list of priorities. I think healthy skin is so important. I think way more important than makeup or the type of makeup you use. Like if your skin is good and healthy and treated the way it's supposed to be, you don't even have to worry that much about your makeup application. Like makeup will just go on top of it so much like smoother. So I think healthy skin is very high on my priority list, especially now in quarantine, there's not much else to do. So I spend a lot of my days just applying a shit ton of skincare. Thinking of doing a skincare 101 video where I basically just go over the basics of skincare for beginners, for dry, oily combination skin, all that stuff, and create sort of little skincare routines for each skin type. If that's something you'd wanna see, just like this video or comment it down below or head over to my Instagram and message me on there. So next question I got is, do you have any tips for anyone starting out, like starting on YouTube? And that is be patient because you think like you see all these really big channels and you think like you're gonna post one video and go viral and you might like maybe, but a lot of the times you don't see like how long it took these huge channels to sort of build up to where they are now. So for me, I know it was like discouraging when I first posted and it didn't get like thousands of views. I was like, what? But really like now that I know, like I appreciate every single little view that I get, every thumbs up, like all means so much to me because I know that I started from literally zero subscribers two weeks ago. And if you know it's something you wanna do, invest in good equipment, but don't spend too much money. Keep being consistent because I feel like it can be discouraging and you just feel like I'm just gonna post once a month. That's not good. Be consistent, post on the same days every time you post. That way YouTube will pick up your algorithm and then put your videos out for everyone to see. So someone asked me <laughs> where I see myself in 10 years. That's a bit of a deep question because I were like, I have no idea. Hopefully with my own house, with the dog. Um, I don't know, just like happy having a successful career. Hopefully in YouTube, but I don't know where this is gonna go. And yeah, just, just chilling. <sighs> oh God, that was really cringy. <laughs> Someone said, any hair product you use because your hair is perfect. <laughs> My hair is not perfect, trust me, this does not look like this all the time. So I've got like naturally very frizzy, wavy hair, doesn't like to be tamed. I just use the Tresemme like nourishing conditioner shampoo for dry hair. I feel like that really cleans my hair properly and makes it really shiny. I think hair is a lot of genetics a lot of the time. Like I can't really, you know, I've always had a lot of hair. I've always had thick hair. It's nothing I can really change. Not using heat on it as much. Like I try to use heat on it once every week or every two weeks. I do also use the Moroccan Argan Oil. I'll put a picture of it here. It's super cheap. I think you can get it from like any drugstore supermarket because I'm pretty sure I got mine from Morrison's or something. So, so someone said, how do you shape your eyebrows so perfectly? Trust me, this was a process and they're not perfect. They're like really uneven. Like this one's a lot lower than this one and I don't really know how to fix that. So I pluck the ends of my brows and under my brow to give them shape and then I use a face razor just up here to sort of like define the shape a bit more. Sometimes I trim the front so they're not like too long. That's it. Someone asked my family background. So my family's from Gibraltar. That's it. 
my dad was born in Spain, has family in Spain, and then my mom is from Jib. We all live in Jib now, everyone lives in Jib. Let's just carry on. Someone said my go-to look, and my go-to look is actually this. When I, okay wait, not go-to like every day because it's not an everyday makeup. So like a really smoked out big wing, like flustery outer edge lashes, nice brow, some contour and nude lip. That's like my go-to. This is sort of like my go-to glam. It's pretty much the same. So I'm thinking of making a video on like my go-to glam look. Someone asked me Anastasia Beverly Hills or Benefit for brow products. Like if you would have asked me this last week, I would have been like Anastasia easily because of their pomade. But since I found that Shop Missy pomade, which in case you haven't seen that video, I will link it here. I think I finally learned how to do that. I tried this pomade that I absolutely love and now I don't feel the need to buy the Anastasia one anymore. So Benefit make really good brow pencils and they make really good brow gels. I love the 24 hour brow setter, the silver one. It's my favorite brow gel. Definitely benefit. I got a question which is quite specific and it's how to cover rosacea on your nose and your cheeks. So rosacea is the flushing of red redness like on your cheeks and your skin. So obviously you can cover it, but I think a way to prevent it is sort of better. So there's toners like the La Roche-Posay toner, which I'll put a picture of it because I'm not exactly sure what it's called, and niacinamide by The Ordinary, which will help reduce that redness and sort of give your skin a more even complexion. You use a tinted green primer, which I know L'Oreal do one that is quite good. It sort of neutralizes the redness because green is opposite red. The color wheel. Someone asked me, do you have a particular light you use when filming? And someone asked me what equipment I use. So I'm just gonna answer all that in one so it doesn't like drag on too long. So I'm using a, I think it's 12 inch ring light right now. And I have my phone attached into the ring light. So I have my phone setting to record in 4K. I am thinking of buying a new camera, especially now since I'm filming so many videos, I do wanna sort of have a bit like better quality. And then how I edit my videos, because I've been asked this like a few times. So right now I'm using iMovie. I think iMovie is great, it's free. It allows you to do quite a lot of things if you like Google and you learn. It's more than just what you see. There's like little tips and tricks that you can do. An app that I like to use is InShot. This has like been my little secret, but I'm gonna like let you guys know because it's so good. You can change the color, the brightness of the videos and stuff. And it's really beginner friendly. I can't believe I've just told you. Someone also asked how I edit my cover photo and I think they mean my thumbnail. So editing my thumbnail is a whole process. In the beginning, I didn't know how on earth to do it. Once I sort of like got my niche and I understood like what I wanted my thumbnails to look like, it's really easy. I just sort of make a template and then I take selfies of my makeup quite up close and then I cut them out, edit them together. You can use Photoshop, you can use anything. That's all I do, I layer them and then I do a background and I put some text over it. It's all there is. It's quite time consuming, but it's not too difficult. Someone said, where are you from? And I kind of answered that from Gibraltar, but I live in Nottingham right now because uni and coronavirus and haven't gone home, so. Someone asked how my day is going. Um, my days are very weird. They're all like merged into, if it wasn't for filming and having a schedule, like I wouldn't know what day it was. And my day's good, I haven't really done much. Sort of just like got ready to film this. And then I wanna start working out. Well, I've been working out, but I've been doing like one workout every week and I feel like I am not being consistent. So my amazing friend, Cleo, which I link her into down below, she has a fitness page called Fit by Cleo and she basically makes you like free workout plans. I'm pretty sure she's done like as many as she can do for now, but I'm pretty sure if you send her a message, she will create you one because she's great. Someone asked, what is your star sign? So my star sign is Taurus and then someone asked me also like if I think I embody like my star sign attributes and quality all you see about Taurus is that we're stubborn we love food and we love to sleep and like I guess that's me <laughs> someone asked me what made me want to start my YouTube channel so this one's kind of a bit of a long one I'm gonna try and cut it down so since I was like really young I've literally watched so much YouTube I absolutely love it and I love the idea of having a platform where like entertainment is free and it's so accessible. I've always like spoken to myself, like doing my makeup in the mirror, I've always been like, and now I'm gonna use this foundation. Like since I was really young, like my mom could vouch for me because it's true. Especially now in quarantine, like I've had nothing to do. My boyfriend plays COD all day. So I was like, I'm gonna have to give myself something 
entertaining that will take up my time and that I enjoy and YouTube is all of those things in one so obviously I enjoy the whole makeup aspect like I've been doing makeup for so many years and then the editing part is so much fun like the technical aspect of it the last question we have is genuinely you've you've always been so self-assured how do you do it I didn't really expect this sort of question I was like mm, thank you um I didn't think of myself as someone who was self-assured I didn't think of like me in that way I think I've always had this like confidence come across when I speak to people because I have like a very bubbly personality I think when you start realizing that like to do things for yourself and not for others is when you can become self-assured because like I feel like when I started YouTube I thought so many people were gonna say shit about me judge me think I was weird think I was like, embarrassing or cringy and like now I really don't care like anyone could have those opinions of me and like I couldn't give less of a shit <laughs> um but it's been the other way like I've had so many nice messages to me I've had so many people message me that I wouldn't normally speak to that I've been so supportive and I'm like thanks so you guys that concludes the end of this q a so if you like this if you want to see more content from me just give this a thumbs up leave a comment down below and please subscribe because it really does help me and i hope to see you all on saturday bye guys